Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn useful BBA shortcut keys. If you are a BBA developer or you work in BBA frequently, I will tell you the shortcut keys to improve your productivity and quickly design a user form in BBA using these shortcut keys. I have written all these shortcut key on this Excel sheet. I'll explain you one by one. So let me go to the developer tab and visual basic. So first of all, I'll tell you few useful shortcut keys, which is used with control key. The first one is the control space. Control space is used to auto complete the code. So I'll show you. Let's say here I'm going to insert a module and I will add a subroutine here. Sub BBA shortcut keys. And let's say I'm just taking a variable. All right, so I have taken SH as worksheet. Now, if I will start writing SH dot range, if I will type RA, so you can see SH dot RA. So all the properties starting from RA, there is only one property which is range. If I will press control space, then it will automatically take that property. The second is control J. Control J is used to show the intelligence list. So if you will press anywhere control J, it will show you the list. If you want to see the drop down list, you can just simply press control J. The next is control R. To display the project explorer, let's say you open the BBA editor window and your window is looking like this. Project explorer is not here. Now, if you want to see the project explorer so that you can see how many modules are there, how many user form and the other things, you can simply press Ctrl R. This project explorer will be visible. The next is immediate window. To display the immediate window, you can simply press Ctrl G. If I will press Ctrl G here, then you can see at the bottom this immediate window is open. Then you can use this immediate window. Let's say I'll show you one example here. I'm taking dim x, y, z as integer. I'm taking x equal to 5, y equal to let's say 6 and z equal to 7. Now if I will run this program till here, you can simply put question mark here and let's say I want to see what is x plus y and press enter. It will give you the 11 because the x is 5 and y is 6. So the immediate window is very useful. I will create separate video on this topic. Here I just wanted to tell you to display the immediate window. You need to press Ctrl G. Immediately immediate window will be opened. All right. Now the next shortcut is Ctrl tab to navigate between modules and user forms you can press control tab if i will insert let's say multiple modules so let me show you i have inserted two more modules and let me put here module 2 this is module 2 and this is module 3 now i will press control tab so this is module 2 and this is the first module third two Alright, so we are navigating between all modules. If I will insert a user form, this is a user form, then I will press Ctrl tab, then I will go to the next module, then user form. Alright, so quickly you can move to the next using Ctrl tab. So all tab 11 is used to toggle between Visual Basic Editor and Excel. If you will press Alt F11, then the Visual Basic Editor will be opened. If you are on Visual Basic Editor and you will press Alt F11, then you will come to the Excel. Using this shortcut key, which is Alt F11, you can toggle between Excel and Visual Basic Editor window. Then the next is Alt IM. Alt IM is used to insert a new module. You can see there are three modules are available here. If I will press Alt IM, 
then the new module which is module 4 is inserted here you can simply insert new module using alt i m now next shortcut key is alt i u if you want to insert a new user form you can simply use alt i u you can see new user form is inserted now I'll tell you about the function keys. If you will press F4, then it will show the property window. Let's say for this user form, I want to see the properties. I will press simple F4. Then the property of this user form will be opened this window. Now next is F5. F5 is used to run the code. Now I'll show you example here. Let me go to the module. Here I will put message box, let's say x plus y plus z now press f5 to run this code then you can see it is giving the result that means this code has been executed on f5 now f8 is to run the code step by step if i will press f8 then you can see the yellow line it is getting a start to run you can press again f8 then each line will run when you will press f8 we use this shortcut key when we want to debug our code if there is any error or we want to do some testing all right so this is very useful f8 now next is f9 if you want to put the breakpoint now next is f9 if you want to put the breakpoint in your module or in your code then you can simply press f9 so let's say on this line i want to put the breakpoint then my cursor should be here and I will press F9, the breakpoint available here. Breakpoint on this line, I will press F9 here. Then you can see the breakpoint. The use of breakpoint is if I will press F5, then my code will execute till here. I will press F5 again, then my code will execute till the next breakpoint. Breakpoint means whenever you will press F5, your code automatically will break on that particular point. All right. And now the next one is if you want to remove all the breakpoints available in your module or in your code, then you can simply press Control Shift F9. So here you can see two breakpoints are available. If I will press Control Shift F9, then all the breakpoint will be removed you can see all right now next is shift f2 shift f2 is very useful it is used to jump to the procedure let's say i have this procedure which is bba shortcut keys i want to create another procedure here let's say sub test and i'm just calling this here all right I want to see the code of this procedure. So here I'll tell you the shortcut key. Just click anywhere on this procedure and you just need to use the shortcut key as shift F2. Automatically it will take you to that particular procedure. So these are the shortcut keys with control, alt and function keys. Now I'll tell you about the user form shortcut keys. So now let's say you have a user form. I'll explain you on this user form one. The first is to align. Now let me put some control here. So I'm just putting some control. Let's say this tax box. And let me make another copy of this. All right. So we have multiple tax boxes on this user form. Now we want to align the tax boxes as left. All the text box should be aligned left. Then we can use this shortcut key which is Alt O A L. So I will select these all text boxes first. Then I will press Alt O A L. Then you can see all the text boxes are aligned left. All right. Now I'll show you once again. If even my view of text boxes has the different width, then I will press Alt O A L. Then you can see these are aligned left. Now, if you want to align center, then you can press Alt O A C, Alt O A C. Then these are align center. You can see, or if you want to align these right, then you can use Alt O A R, Alt O A R. Then these are align right. You can see the alignment. It is from the right side. Now, if you want to align the top, if I want to align these as top. 
then I can use Alt O A T. Now I'll show you. Let me put here or let me align simple these three as top. Then I will select these three. I'll press Alt O A T. Then these are aligned top. All right. Now I'll show you even the height is different. Select these three. Alt O A T. So these are aligned top. You can see the alignment. Now similarly, if I want to align from middle, then I can simply use Alt O A M. Alt O A M. Then you can see the alignment is from middle. If I want to align these as bottom, then I can use Alt O A B. Then the alignment is from bottom. If I want to make the same width of selected tax boxes, then we can use Alt O M W for these three. Width is different for all three. O M W. Then you can see the width is same, and then we can use to align left. Alt O A L. These are aligned left. You can see the width is same. Earlier it was different. If you want to make the same height, so let's say the height of these three is different. We can use Alt O M H. You can see the height. The height is same for all these three. All right. If you want to make the same height and width both on one shortcut key, you can use Alt O M B for both. So let me give you one example here. Now for these three, I want to make the height and width same. Then I can use Alt O M B. You can see the height and the width is the same. All right. So quickly you can align or change the size and height and width using this shortcut key. Now I'll tell you about few other shortcut key, which is the horizontal spacing. So to use the horizontal spacing, let me put these three here. Let's say now I want to make the horizontal space equal. So you can see this space is greater than this space. I want to put the same space between these three. Then simply I can use horizontal spacing equal which is Alt O H E. Alt O H E. You can see the space is the equal. If you want to remove the space, let's say I'm taking this one. If you want to remove the space, then you can simply use Alt O H R. Alt O H R. Then there is no space between these tax boxes. You can see. If you want to increase the space now, you can use Alt O H I. Then some space will be increased and you can increase once again Alt O H I. Again it will be increased you can see and it will be increased equally Alt O H I. Alright now if you want to decrease the space you can use simply Alt O H D. Then space will be decreased. Alright and this is for the remove the space. And the similar thing is in the vertical way. Let's say you want to put the vertical space equal. Let's say I'm just putting this in vertical manner like this. I want to put the vertical space equal. I can use the same shortcut key. Only difference is in place of H, I will use V. So Alt O V E. Then the vertical spacing will be equal. And same thing you can use for increase, decrease, or remove space for vertical. So these are the shortcut key. You can learn this. Put control on the center of form. Now let's say I want to create a header here. I'm just putting this label. Okay. And this is a title. Now I want to put this title on the center of this form. And the center I want to put the horizontally. This is the horizontal. So I can use Alt O C H. Alt O C H. Then automatically. It will put on the center of the form even if you will change the form size and again you will use alt o c h then it will take on the center similarly if you want to put it center on the form vertically then you can use alt o c v alt o c v then it is on the center of the form as vertically all right if you will use these shortcut keys in your daily life i use this shortcut key 
so i quickly design my form usually in user form the designing part takes a long time so you can quickly design your form and you can save your time all right so friends if you like this video please press like button and share it with your friends and colleagues these are very useful shortcut keys i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching